Welcome to homecampus.com.sg. Well, the purpose of this word problem is to show to you how fractions and ratios are related to each other. Okay, so here goes the word problem. Town A has two-fifths the population of town B. What is the ratio of the population of town A to the population of town B? Well, since town A or the population of town A here is expressed as a fraction of the population of town B, how about we take the population of town B first and try to make a model. Okay, so here is the population of town B, let's say represented by this model. Over here, this is the population of town B. And let's fill in some color into it, say purple. Now, this purple block over here, which is the population of town B, is considered as a whole. Then part of this whole is the population of town A. And it's exactly two out of five parts, right? So if this population was divided into five equal parts, then the population of town A would be equal to two out of those five parts, which would mean it would be equal to this. So this is your population of town A, right? Because it's two out of the five parts into which the population of town B is divided into, right? So let's suppose that these are the five parts of the whole, then two out of those five parts would be the population of town B. All right, so what's given to us is the population of town A is two-fifths the population of town B, which means the population of town A is two-fifths times the population of town B, right? Now, if we move this B to this side of the equal sign, then this would become A divided by B, and that would be equal to 2 over 5, right? Now, A divided by B is nothing but A over B, right? The fraction A over B, and that's equal to this fraction 2 over 5. So, the fraction A over B is equal to the fraction 2 over 5. Okay, now this is what we found and we're going to keep this aside first because we're going to find out the population of town A to the population of town B as a ratio. Okay, now what is the population of town A to the population of town B as a ratio from this model diagram? Well, from this model diagram, we can say that the population of town A is equal to two units, right? Because this is one unit then this is the second unit, so this is equal to two units. And if this is equal to one unit of the same size as above, then these are five units, right? These are together equal to five units. So the population of town A to the population of town B as a ratio is equal to quite simply two units to five units. So it's equal to two to five. Now, do you see a relation between the ratio A to B and the fraction A over B? Well, it's just the numerator and the denominator over here written as the first and the second terms of the ratios. So the fraction A over B, which is 2 over 5, can be written as a ratio as A to B, which is equal to 2 to 5. So the numerator and the denominator when written as a ratio quite simply become the two terms of the ratio. So that's the relation between ratios and fractions. And quite true, actually. Well, what was given to us was the population of town A is two-fifths the population of town B. And from which we got the model that if the population of town B is equal to five units, then the population of town A would be equal to two of those units, which is what the ratio here tells that if the population of town A is considered to be two units, then the population of town B would be equal to five units. So both these things are saying the same thing except that they are expressed in two different ways. And actually, you know, not just fractions, ratios are also related to percentages and also to decimals. So for homework, what I want you to do is uh, take this as the ratio of the population of town A to the population of town B and figure out what the population of town A is equal to as a percentage of the population of town B. So if this is your person scale, okay, which means that 100% is the population of town B, then what is the population of town A? Okay, what is this equal to, this point equal to? I want you to go and find out what this point is equal to as a percentage and also as a decimal. Okay, so you have to figure out what the population of town A is equal to as a percentage 
of the population of town B and also second if this whole thing is considered as the decimal number 1.0 Okay, so this is your zero here, the starting point. So if the population of town B is considered as 1.0, the decimal number 1.0, then what is the population of town A equal to? Okay, so if this is 0.0, .0 then what is this point over here equal to? Well, that's it for now for this word problem. Hope you've understood it and hope that now you'll go and do the homework that I've given to you and also uh, check out this website www.homecampus.com.sg for some other word problems. This is M signing off for now. Bye-bye.